So let's talk about how generative AI is reshaping everyday experiences in surprising ways. From changing the game in sports and movies to altering how we find love and cook dinner, AI is becoming a bigger part of our lives in some really interesting ways. Here are five not so obvious ways generative AI may impact the world around you. One, AI transforms sports, films, and creativity. Gen AI is really changing the way we experience all kinds of creative stuff, like art, sports, and movies. Imagine books being written with AI's help, music that's made just for you based on what you like, and podcasts that you can listen to in your own language, all thanks to AI. In movies, generative AI is helping to create backgrounds, characters, and cool special effects. This is great news for smaller movie studios because they can now make effects that used to be only possible for big companies. In sports, generative AI is also doing some cool stuff. It can make or translate commentary for games, create virtual simulations that look real and add special visual effects even while the game is happening. For example, Fox Sports uses generative AI to make new content from old game footage. Google has a system that can quickly look through almost 2 million videos and to make new video content super fast. This content can then be shown on TV or social media. So watching sports in the future might be way more exciting and engaging with all these AI enhancements. Two, your kids might be secretly finding new homework methods. In 2023, Snapchat added a new feature where every user got an AI chatbot as a friend at the top of their friend list. This chatbot is based on ChatGPT and Snapchat users can name it and give it a profile picture, then chat with it anytime they want. Even if you don't use Snapchat, your kids might be using it, or they might start using it soon. This means they have access to Snapchat's AI bot and can ask it all sorts of things. They can have meaningful talks with it, ask fun questions, and yes, they can even ask it to help with their homework. Instead of looking up information in books or online, they might just ask their AI friend for answers or to write something for them. As parents, it's important for us to guide our kids on how to use AI tools in the right way. They should use these tools to help them, but not depend on them completely. It's also important to teach them to think for themselves and question the information given by AI because it might not always be correct, or it could be biased. Snap. The company that made Snapchat is also aware of this issue. Three, is Google's era ending soon? As more people start using tools like ChatGPT for information, the way we search the internet might really change. Right now, searching online can be a bit of a hassle. You often get a ton of results and have to go through lots of pages, deal with cookie pop-ups, and read through lots of extra stuff just to find what you need. But when you ask ChatGPT a question, you get a straight answer right away. It's a lot smoother and less annoying. Sure, you still have to make sure the info is right, but that's the same with regular internet searches. Big internet search companies are paying attention to this and are starting to use generative AI in their search engines. Microsoft Bing was the first to add ChatGPT. Google is also working on something new called SGE, Search Generative Experience, which will make it easier for users to understand information online. For instance, you'll be able to see definitions just by hovering over certain words or quickly get the main points from long web pages. Whether or not traditional internet searching goes away, one thing is clear. Generative AI is definitely going to change the way we look for information. Four planning your meals with the help of AI. Have you ever come back home after a tiring day and wondered what to cook for dinner? We've all been there. But now, instead of picking up your phone to order food, you can use it to ask generative AI for cooking ideas. Language models like ChatGPT can give you suggestions for meals and even create complete recipes based on what ingredients you have and what you can or can't eat. Need a recipe that includes salmon, coconut milk, and those spring onions that are starting to go bad in your fridge? Easy. And if you need it to be gluten-free and without garlic, that's possible too. You can even ask generative AI to plan out your dinners for the entire week. There are already several AI tools made specifically for recipes that can help you in the kitchen. These include Chef GPT, Food AI, Super Cook, and Plant Jammer, which is great for vegans. Now, if only AI could also do the cooking and load the dishwasher for us. Five, AI era reshapes love and intimacy. Generative AI is starting to change many parts of our lives, including how we date and our relationships. DreamGF is a new platform that uses this AI to let people create virtual girlfriends. Users can decide how their virtual girlfriend looks, like her hair, ethnicity, age, and body shape. They can also choose her personality with options like Nympho, Dominatrix, or Nurse. People can text with their AI girlfriend and even ask for nude pictures. A Dream BF version is also being developed for those who want a virtual boyfriend. This idea might seem a bit strange or even creepy. Having a relationship with an AI 
or just sexting has many issues. One big concern is that it might give people unrealistic ideas about what real relationships with real people are like. Will this change dating for most people? It's unlikely. However, it's sad to think that there are many people who might prefer to have an ideal partner created by AI, someone who is always agreeable and does exactly what they want. As generative AI keeps growing, it will affect more and more of our daily life in ways we can't even fully picture yet. This includes not just our entertainment and learning, but also how we find information, plan our meals, and deal with dating and relationships. It's important to think about these changes carefully and use them in a good and fair way. We're moving into an exciting time where AI can really add to our lives, but we have to be responsible about how we use it. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.